Hello, dear friends and colleagues. Greetings from Vienna. I'm wearing a blueprint mask today and uh, I will explain to you in a minute why. First of all, let me um, thank you for inviting me to share our experience on the impact of the pandemic on the ICH in, in Austria. I will share with you two examples. Um, the first one is related to blueprint, um, an element. Yeah, here you can see it. It has been inscribed on the representative list in 2018. We have two workshops in Austria, one in the east, uh, close to Hungary, and one in more central Austria, close to the Czech Republic. And um, after the Austrian government recommended or advised uh, wearing um, face masks, our blueprint communities started to produce such masks from their, from their locally produced um, textiles. And uh, their offer was well um, received, uh, welcomed by many people, for example, um, by a regional bank in Upper Austria, who ordered masks for all of their employees. So within one and a half weeks, 800 masks were um, collected by the bank against the donation to the um, Dias Museum, Ferber Museum in Guttau. So I think this is a really nice um, example for and and a, a visual symbol for solidarity and support of the ICH in times of crisis. And um, yeah, this is one example of many inspiring and encouraging um, stories that were presented um, at an, e an event that we hosted in April in reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic. So we were just um, starting to plan um, a workshop for our ICH communities in Austria when everything um, went into lockdown, so to say. It was also um, around Easter, so there were a lot of rituals and social practices and festive events coming up. Um, and yeah, we had a UNESCO survey uh, on the effects of the pandemic that we translated and shared, but we also wanted to have easier ways of, you know, to access um, the information about the um, effects of the pandemic, how the ICH stakeholders reacted, and what their worries and concerns were. So we um, we invited all communities whose elements are inscribed on the national inventory um, to participate in an online meeting to share their experience, their initiatives, their struggles and concerns, but also to um, raise their questions and just exchange with each other. We also invited um, guest speakers to our salon. Um, you all know this friendly face. Um, so Helena uh, presented um, international initiatives. We also had local NGOs um, to present their experience and initiatives. But the focus of this meeting really was the exchange between um, the practitioners in Austria. So we had around 50 people participating. Um, one out of 124 elements that are inscribed. So that was quite an amazing um, number. Um, yeah, we also used um, polls and other tools to engage our participants and learn about their needs and interests. So um, from the feedback that we received, which was really positive uh, and encouraging, we can assume that this event was well, well received by our communities. Also, we have now a really nice um, and a good documentation of the effects of the pandemic on the ICH in Austria. 
and um, we are turning this format, new format, into a series. So we just had the second salon, and we are currently planning the the third one, um, always in close cooperation and collaboration with our practitioners, and really focusing on their needs and interests. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them.